All right, so this right here is actually what Black Ops 4 looks like normally without any settings change, pretty much just the base default, which you're gonna get straight out of the box without any of the settings that I'm about to give you. And now just give me one second and it's about to look a whole lot better. And this right here is what Black Ops 4 looks like with all of the settings changed, with all of the colors changed. As you can see, all the colors are just very vibrant and they all pop. The darks are darker. Everything just looks as good as it most possibly can. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make your Black Ops 4 look as vibrant as possible, make all the colors pop, make everything just look as good as it most possibly can. But before we actually do get into the video, I just wanna say that if you guys are new around here, make sure you do go ahead and subscribe as we are very close to 1.2K. And pretty much what I post on this channel is everything from Black Ops 4, tips, tricks, nuclears, best class setups, everything like that. And also just like these little quality of life improvements, kind of like how this video is, just to kind of, you know, brighten up and just make your Black Ops 4 look new, look fresh, and just really, really look good. Also, if this video does end up helping you guys out and you guys do end up liking how your Black Ops 4 looks afterwards, then make sure to go ahead and slap a like on the video. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So what you're actually gonna wanna do first is that you're actually gonna wanna go into the settings menu and go over to options. After that, look for the graphics tab, click on it. And here, there's not really too much to do, but the one thing we are going to be looking at is our brightness. So brightness is one of those things where whenever it says the on-screen instructions, you wanna listen to it, adjust the brightness levels until the image is barely visible. Some people like to put theirs all the way up. I know pros and stuff like that will put their brightness all the way up but that really degrades the quality of the image. And honestly, pros are using it for the best uh, advantage that they can possibly have. So they don't wanna be, you know, it's super dark in areas where they need to find players. And also in the next step, we're gonna be increasing our brightness, but in a different option menu. So for this brightness, what you're gonna to wanna to do is that I would say 50 is a good base level, but honestly, if you do just want to adjust the brightness level until the image is barely visible, go ahead and go for it. I just leave mine on 50. Uh, I actually could turn it down to about 40 or even 30 and it'd still be good. But yeah, pretty much just do it until you can see the image. You don't want it super bright and flushed out like this. Uh, so I would say 50 is a good default base. I would just leave it on that and on to the next step. So now on to the next step. So for the next step, what you're gonna to wanna to do is that you're gonna to wanna to go into your TV or monitor settings, or in my case, my Elgato settings. It does not matter as we are looking for three options in the settings that we're gonna be changing. So go ahead and go into your settings and then try to find the picture option or the option that allows you to adjust how your picture on your screen looks. So once we're under here, you're gonna to wanna to look for brightness, contrast, and saturation. So these are what we're gonna be changing. We want to find these three options. So if they're not under the picture option, then look around and just find these three ones. So brightness, contrast, and saturation. For the brightness, we're gonna turn it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna put mine on about seven and everyone's options will be different. So kind of just toy around with it. So brightness, turn it up just a little bit. Now contrast, what contrast does is that contrast makes the darks darker or the lights lighter. So go ahead, I'm gonna make my darks just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna turn mine, hang on a second. Let me actually move this out of the way so you guys can actually see as the picture changes in the background as I adjust these settings. I'm gonna turn mine to about negative 13. So about right, yeah, right there. So you're gonna see it's gonna darken up and it's still gonna be nice and bright though. And then now time for the big one, saturation. So saturation controls how much the colors pop. So if you're looking for a super colorful Black Ops 4 experience, go ahead and just turn it all the way up and you can just watch it in the background as it gets super vibrant, super bright. The yellows pop, the pinks pop. I did use this camo uh, just to kind of really show you guys like how vibrant it can actually get. So if you don't like it that colorful, you can actually turn it down. Uh, like I said, saturation, play around with it. It is all personal preference. So me, I honestly leave mine on about 25 to 30. But if say you're sitting a little bit further away, um, so say you actually do use a TV and you're sitting a little bit further away and you want the colors to be more vibrant because you are a further distance back, then you know turn it down a little bit, say you're, um, or turn it up a little bit. So say you're like using a monitor, then maybe a lower saturation will be better, you know, less strain on your eyes. Like I said, all personal preference, doesn't matter. Set it to whatever you think looks the best, and yeah. 
And there you go. Now you have the absolute best settings for your Black Ops 4. Super simple, super easy. Anyone can do it. Every TV monitor has these settings. All you have to do is look around for it. If you are having problems, make sure you go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section below. I will be replying to you guys, helping you guys out as much as possible. And like I said, if you guys are new around here, make sure you do go and subscribe. Uh, we are so close to 1.2K. And if this video did help you guys out, make sure you do slap a like on it. And also, I did a Fortnite video on this as well on how to make Fortnite look better. So if you guys are interested in Fortnite or you guys still do play that, I know the new season seven just dropped. And with the new snowy biome, uh, sometimes the colors can look a little washed out, um, especially with all of the white snow everywhere. So if you guys are interested in that, you can see it at the very end of the video. There will be a little annotation or whatever they're called on screen where you can just click and go right to it. And yeah, with that out of the way, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy the video and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.